Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, and I'm minister of three Presbyterian congregations in Eastern Ontario. And this is the children's story time for Sunday, July 26. And as I said before, thank you for joining me. This week, I remembered I had something very beautiful. I had a couple of angels that someone had given me years ago. And yes, we know the one angel has a slightly broken wing. And I think I just broke some more. But anyway, uh, and you have some angels. And I thought it would be nice to get some flowers for them. And I also thought it'd be nice. It's summery and, and bright and the weather's been gorgeous. Maybe I'd get some flowers for the uh, living room. So I did, I got some flowers and they sort of go right behind. And I think that's so pretty, don't you? But there's a problem with these flowers that I bought. I think there's a They're very beautiful, but they don't smell. Why not? Can you tell me why not? Well, they don't smell, of course, because they're fake flowers. Why did I buy fake flowers if I wanted real flowers? Well, the answer is simple. I don't have to worry about watering these flowers and I don't have to wait for them to be in bloom and I don't have to worry about some of the blooms falling off. See, I have another plant here. Let me just go get it. It's a little heavier. Oh, you can't even see. It's got some babies there. Okay, so it's a real plant. This is an aloe vera plant. And here's one that's, that's I can't say it's the biggest aloe vera plant I've seen, but it's a big size one. And you see those little babies there. And, but there's something about this plant that I have to remember. I have to remember to water the plant, not to overwater the plant. I think I did that. There's a little dead leaf here. And I have to make sure it gets sun. And then I have to make sure I take care of it. I don't have to take care I don't have to take care of the fake flowers. Sorry, I'm getting back my flake. So the fake flowers are great, but why didn't I want to take care of a real plant? Why didn't I want to get some seeds or get a small seedling, put it in the soil, water it, make sure it gets sun? That's too much work. I was a little lazy, I think. I was also impatient. I wanted, here's the angel, I wanted flowers right away. I didn't want to wait. And so the trade-off is I got plants that's beautiful, but no smell. Sometimes we're like that in our relationship with God, even our relationship with our parents and friends, is we get impatient. We want things right away. Have you ever sort of said, you've gone to the store and you've seen something you like and go, I want that, I want that. And maybe your parents get it for you and maybe they don't. But you're, you know, impatient. You want it and you want it now. And sometimes we're like that with God too. You know, I want God to help me out financially. And so I start praying for money and I'm going, and I want it, and I want it now. And I'm going to buy the lottery ticket and you're going to make sure it's a winning lottery ticket. Doesn't work like that. And it wasn't a winning ticket. Oh well, yeah, I did. I told you I'm impatient with God at times. But those times when I'm impatient, I notice I'm not very happy. It's like I'm angry. I want it right now. And I'm going to get angry and be angry and hold my breath and pout until I get my way or until God lets me get my way. God seems to have a whole different picture. He has a whole different view of time. And often he'll do things in his time. So like when I really wanted something, um, that's, and, and God seemed to be okay with me getting it, he didn't just give it to me. It didn't just show up on the door thing here but suddenly I started getting phone call 
are you willing to do a special service for us? Da, 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 da. Or can you translate this book? Could you help me mark my exam papers? And suddenly I had some money coming in and I could go out and buy what I wanted or needed. It's like God worked through people and he did things in his time, not mine. And I learned some patience awful thing to ask for because often you're in situations where you have to be patient and that's how you learn. But I learned to sort of calm down, slow down. And I also learned I was a lot happier. So today, what I want you to, to think about is times when you're impatient, you want something right away. And maybe it's like getting a flower with no smell or if you're patient maybe it's like getting a real flower that has a beautiful smell and you enjoy looking at and you find you're happy so think about that and think about that when you have to deal with your parents because sometimes they make you be patient and you want to you know try to try to enjoy patience when dealing with your parents and of course parents have patience when dealing with your children and also try to find some patience when dealing with God he does answer prayers but sometimes it takes a real long time before he does answer it so that's the children's story for today thank you once again so let's close with prayer and you can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for being patient. Thank you for helping us appreciate what's beautiful, what smells good, what it takes time to grow. Thank you for all the little steps along the way Help me when I'm impatient and just remind me, sometimes settling for something fast isn't always settling for the best. Help me be patient with my parents, with my brothers and sisters, with my friends, and most of all, with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you for joining me for this children's story. Reverend Cheryl Gaver, and see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.